receive your blessing. We receive your blessing. We receive your blessing. Bless your people now, Lord God, your sons and your daughters who are looking to receive from you. There is something that you have in store for your sons and your daughters. Bless you. Lord bless you and keep you. And keep you. Make his face. Make, make his face shine, shine upon you and be gracious to you. Be gracious to you. Lord, turn his, his face towards you. Face toward you. And give you peace.
wherever you are right now, I want you to take a moment and lift your hands out before you. Lift your hands out in front of you. I know it might feel strange wherever you are, but lift your hands in front of you. Because we're gonna take a moment. I know a lot of times we lift up our hands this way and we praise Him as we should, we worship Him as we should, but we're gonna lift our hands this way and take a moment and sit in His presence and receive His blessing. Because wherever you are, God has an intended blessing for you. God has something that he wants to do in you. Yes, he wants to do something in your family. He wants to bless your finances. He wants to bless you with peace and joy and provision and prosperity and blessing and healing. So we receive you, Jesus. We receive what you want to do today. We receive from you. Hallelujah. And we sing scripture right here. May his favor be upon you and the thousand generations and your family and their children and their children and their children. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you in the morning. In the evening, in your coming, and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing, He is for you. Not only is He with you, but He's for you. We praise the God and worship the God who is for us. And that's why we sing together. Say, Amen, Amen. to receive your touch. Touch us now, touch us now, touch us now, touch us now.
So right now, Lord, we take a moment and we pray for every family of the Cathedral International. We take a moment and we pray for every family of the Cathedral International and their children and their grandchildren. Hallelujah, we pray for them, whatever the needs are. There's been so much negative news. There's been so much negative news. There's been so much negative news. But in spite of all of that, God, we receive your blessing. And I command a blessing in the name of Jesus over every family represented in the Cathedral International by name. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would bless them with favor and healing and hope and health and wellness. That you would cover them in your blood right now. In the name of Jesus, that regardless of what the reports say, regardless of what the statistics statistics say, regardless of who is dying and who is passing away, tragically, God, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would break yokes on each and every family. We declare in the name of Jesus that shackles are broken, strongholds are destroyed, strongholds are dismantled. In the name of Jesus, whatever the need is, whatever provision is needed, we declare it and we command it right now, wherever they are, if they're in New Jersey, if they're in Georgia, if if they're in North Carolina, if they're in California, we command the blessing over them wherever they are, in this country, in Africa, in Nigeria, in Af Afghanistan, God, wherever they are, we command a blessing over them in the name of Jesus. We receive.